Hey everyone, this is Champion2D Rob back again with another video. I know it's been a while. Uh, I keep on doing it. I know, I know, I, I disappear, then I come back again. Um, yeah, it's becoming a thing with me, but you know what? I've got no excuses. It's just down to lack of motivation, really. And the last thing I want to do, guys, is make a video without any real um, effort put in, without the energy. I don't want to do that, so... Anyway, I'm back guys and I do I do have some videos in the pipeline. Um, today's video is going to be uh, my Nintendo Switch pickups. Um, I wasn't planning on doing this video so soon. I was planning to do another uh, gaming pickups vid, but I'm still waiting for a few more things to come in first. So I thought I would bump this one forward and leave that one for a, to a little bit later on. Um, so yeah, so basically, uh, these pickups are going to be stuff that's basically been released through general uh, retail uh, No limited run stuff. Um, I do have a few games coming from limited run uh, But obviously they haven't arrived and the rest of the stuff is sort of stuck in uh, Various states of processing or wherever it, where, wherever it is they choose to call it But uh, yeah, so all the games here are basically uh, games I've picked up over the last three months um yeah just sort of here and there and um i should point out as well it was my birthday uh a few days ago so i also sort of overindulged as well and you will see uh some of the extra stuff that i sort of spoilt myself with over the course of the next few pickup vids so this one my next gaming vid and also um uh, my sort of uh, DVDs, Blu-rays stuff as well. You'll see what, what, what I picked up for those uh, later on down the line. So anyway, let's get right to it, guys. Uh, my first pickup. Now, I know I know what some people are going to say, but I will explain myself. I basically picked up another Amiibo. And uh, as most people will probably know, I don't care for Amiibos at all. Now, I made the exception in my last uh, Switch uh, it wasn't my switch, it was my, what was in my pickups vid? Um, I picked up two amiibos, it was the two uh, Castlevania amiibos. Uh, I'm a big, huge Castlevania fan, and uh, those to me felt like adding them to the collection. But little did I know that they would also make another amiibo of another character that I have great nostalgia for, great passion for. He's one of my favorite characters in gaming, and. Um, yeah, I never thought I would ever see an amiibo of this particular character. And the one I got is Terry Bogard from uh, the Fatal Fury and King of Fighters series. So yeah, I never thought I would see a Terry Bogard um, amiibo. But here we are, Terry Bogard, uh, one of my favorite characters from the SNK lineup. Uh, I always pick him in a lot of games. Um, uh, King of Fighters, uh, Fatal Fury, uh, Guru, Mark of the Wolves. Um, he's just he's just one of my all-round favourite characters. There are figures of him that I would love to have, but they're just so expensive. Uh, I just I just couldn't really justify it. But this amiibo was only uh, I believe uh, I paid twelve quid, and I actually bought this at the same time as I bought Super Mario 3D Land. Uh, but because this was a pre-order, it, obviously it took longer to arrive. So I actually bought this about three months ago. But yeah, really cool to have. I don't see myself picking up any more Amiibos uh, unless they do more Castlevania or something akin to this. Um, but uh, yeah, tough to have it in any case. And uh, the next, pickup I have here and this is a really cool one uh, again this wasn't I wasn't expecting to buy this um, but I was looking for another variation of this item and what I picked up was I picked up another um, uh, switch uh, pro controller so another official pro controller uh, but this time I went with the uh, uh, monster hunter rise version and uh, yeah, I just thought it looked really, really cool. Got a nice sort of uh, uh, dragon motif on the control pad. 
and I, I was in the market for another uh, pro controller so I thought I would get this one although I don't actually have the game um, it's funny because I actually have my previous pro controller is from uh, Xenoblade Chronicles and I don't have that game either so I've got two pro controllers for games I don't own but they just happen to be really nice uh, controllers so yeah really really chuffed to get this one as well and now moving on to the game so okay so the first one that here. let's see first game I've got here and uh, this is actually a game that was uh, well it wasn't recommended to me because I, I was aware of this game but um, I, I decided to sort of pick it up sooner than rather than later just just off of what um, youtuber Nick Berry told me um, he was just sort of saying that uh, this game um, uh, was it not well, not rare but uh, uh, they, they I think it was either started to go up in price or some something to that effect so I I jumped on it while it was still cheap basically and uh, I picked up um, the uh, need for speed uh, hot pursuit uh, remastered so uh, just so people are aware it does say here at the bottom um, uh, internet download required but uh, it's not this is actually a cart there is a cartridge here it, it, the game is on the cart it, it's just you have to do a, a large update for the online aspect of this game you know, that, that's just EA for you but uh, yeah, I'm really, really chuffed to get this. I paid $17.99 for this. And um, I bought this off uh, was it the, 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 um, the game collection, the game collection.net. And uh, yeah, I'm glad to have this. This is a really fun game. That this, I don't plan on uh, getting a lot of uh, racing games for the Switch, just a select few. I have most of them now. I just need to get one more really, and then I'm done pretty much. But uh, yeah, I, I wanted to get this. This is I actually have this game on the PlayStation 3. And I haven't really spent that much time on it on the PS3. But I have been putting some time into this one. Really do enjoy it. I have to say I enjoy playing as the police. Um, it's just really fun because it kind of plays a little bit like a Chase HQ game where you sort of have to sort of knock them knock them off the off the roads and stuff and it's, it's a lot of fun so uh yeah really really enjoying this one and uh let's see here we've got let's do these okay next two games here again i had these games on my watch list but i wasn't planning to pick them up um anytime soon but then i saw that the price on them dropped down like basically in half so I, I jumped on them right away and what I picked up was um, uh, Oddworld's Munch's Odyssey and uh, Oddworld's Stranger's Wrath so I actually picked up both of these and they were at $11.99 each on Amazon really really chuffed uh, to get them for that price saw them for that price had to nab them yeah chuffed uh, I actually I really like uh, Oddworld Munch's Odyssey. I actually have it downloaded on the PlayStation 3 and uh, I find it to be a, a fun sort of 3D uh, puzzle platformer. Uh, Stranger's Wrath I've not really played. I think I might have played a demo of this but I've not really played that much so I'm looking forward uh, to giving it a try. Okay so next one I have here and that is uh, Bayonetta 2. Uh, I've been meaning to get this game for ages, but this game is like it really holds its value. Uh, it's really annoying. I did get this brand new, brand new and sealed. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was sort of going back and forth whether to pick this game up just because I'm not really, I've sort of fallen out of love with 3D hack and slash games, but um, I was curious to play um, Bayonetta 2. And uh, it does have Bay Bayonetta 1 as well, it's a downloadable code. I'm okay with that. I know that the Japanese release has both games physically, but it, that's way too expensive. And, and uh, I already have Bayonetta 1 physically on PS3. So I don't really care to have that one physically. But uh, it's just really, really cool to have. I have played a bit of it. 
and uh, you know it's cool it is actually very cool um, I still need to get to grips with it because I, I did find myself uh, button bashing while I was playing through so I didn't really know what to do because it, <coughs> it is actually quite a hectic game so there's, there's a lot going on you do have to pay attention but uh, yeah I, I, I will put some time into this one and uh, yeah I'm glad to finally get this one out of the way because frustratingly it is expensive I mean it was like a, I think I paid I don't know it was 45 or 50 for this uh, not too sure but uh, just to get it in the collection finally so next one we have here and this is basically one I just wanted to get off the list uh, I actually have it digitally but because I got the sequel not too long ago I wanted to make sure I got the first game and that is uh, Ori and the Blind Forest um, yeah I mean the Ori games are fantastic. I have played a bit of the first game because I do own it digitally and uh, it is an awesome, awesome game. Great Metroidvania if that's what you're after. So yeah, very, very cool. Okay, uh, next one I have here. Again, this is another game I also happen to own digitally and I love it. I love it. I play it all the time. It's, it's probably uh, my number one most played game on the Switch. Uh, in terms of uh, pick up and play I love just sort of every now and again when I'm bored and I just feel like you know killing half an hour or whatever I, I always put this game on so I thought it was about time I get a physical of this because I love it that much and that is uh, Horizon Chase Turbo such an awesome racing game this very much uh, homage to like 16-bit racers games like uh, Top Gear on the Super Nintendo and of course outrun as well uh, really really great game guys i mean honestly get this game do not wait get this game it's a fantastic racer awesome awesome old school graphics um I and mean, it's not even old school graphics it, it's it's modern graphics but it's it's purposely designed to look like a like a more retro uh game and uh it is brilliant i love playing this great gameplay great levels there's a lot to do yeah I just I just love working my way I'm sort of working my way through the um, through the tournaments sort of going through different countries and and try and get first place and uh, yeah it's just a lot of fun great pick up and play game very arcadey and uh, next game I've got here again uh, another must own racing game and that is a uh, hot shot racing now what I actually did a, a uh, separate video to this game uh, because there was there was a bit of an issue with this game in terms of its UK release unfortunately the UK version of Hotshot Racing is just a code in a box so I made a separate video on this just to let people know that you can get a European version of the game that is not a code in the box you just have to go you have to buy it from uh, other countries in Europe uh, except for Germany. Germany is the only other country besides the UK that is a code in the box as well. I actually got mine from Spain but uh, uh, some of my other friends uh, here on YouTube have managed to get the game uh, from a, a, wasn't a, I, thought, I think it was a, a Swiss it was definitely a, um, uh, one of the Scandinavian countries I, I believe the website is it's called the, the, the cool the cool website something like that the cool game something to that effect uh, where you can get yourself an English copy because this this copy is in Spanish it is there is a Spanish writing on it there's no there's no um, English writing on this besides the the, the 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 main box but I'm okay with that uh, Spanish is is the one language I'm okay to have because it happens it also happens to be my second language so I'm absolutely okay with having it in Spanish but for other people it might bother them so it might be worth sort of looking around to see uh, which which one which version they prefer but just make sure you avoid the UK version altogether um, I think in the US as well uh, they're okay I think they also get a physical copy but unfortunately for us Brits and for the and for the Germans we don't get physical copies unfortunately which is a bit weird but there you go but definitely uh, an awesome game to have this really is a fantastic game um, if I was to describe this game it's basically like if it was the love child 
of uh, virtual racing and Daytona. And then you throw in a special a special rig racer in there for it as well. And that's basically what you've got. It's exactly what it is. It's, it's a bit of Ridge Racer, a bit of Daytona, and a bit of Virtual Racing. Awesome combination right there, and it plays awesome. This is a fantastic arcade racer. I mean, I, I definitely got the nostalgic feels when I was playing this game, so definitely check it out, guys. Okay, next game I've got here. Again, this is one I also happen to have digitally, but I thought it was about time I pick it up uh, physically, and also because I saw it going for a great price on Amazon, and that is Hollow Knight. Uh, what a fantastic uh, Metroidvania style game, action exploration platforming, and uh, this was $16.99, and uh, yeah, get this game guys, especially if you like your uh, action platformers, your Metroid style games, uh, definitely pick this one up. And uh, yeah, so next game I have here, and uh, this was definitely one of my more recent pickups. And uh, I was, I had no idea this game was coming out until I saw the pre-order for it. Managed to snag a copy for a good price as well. Uh, really chuffed to get it, I, I do enjoy it. And that is uh, R-Type Final 2. And uh, I got it for a good price actually. I paid, I paid 40 for this, and uh, most places, uh, was selling for 45 to 50 and it does come in a um, in a in a collector's case uh, with soundtrack and uh, I don't remember what else is in here uh, I think you get like a there's an art book as well so soundtrack and art book uh, seems to be getting it seems to be getting a, um, a bit of a mixed response from people some people don't think it's that good. Um, I, I think it's all right, actually. I, I, I really enjoy it. I mean, it's, to me, it's R-Type. You know, I'm, I'm a big fan of the R-Type series. Always have been, ever since the Super Nintendo game. And uh, this one just really works for me, but uh, I am not by any means an expert in space shooters. Uh, there, are, there are people that can break these, these games down you know, and give you proper reasons as to why these games work or don't. That's not my area of expertise, but I can tell you that as a fan of, of all the previous R-Type games, this one definitely lived up for me. Really did enjoy this one, and I'm happy to have it in the collection. And uh, next game I have here, and uh, this is one I wasn't sure I was going to get because it, it kind of became very expensive for a while, and I wasn't sure I was going to be able to get a, a cheap copy for it. But there must have been a, 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 a new batch come in because I was able to get this game for a reasonable price and that is uh, Valfaris. Uh, this is basically a 2D run and gun game and uh, I picked it up, I think I paid uh, 26 for it. Yeah, I think I paid 26 for this game and uh, it's definitely one that's sort of become a very sort of cult game. Uh, I'm not sure what the production run is on this uh, but it, I think the initial batch ran out and it, and it just became very pricey for a while But uh, I'm glad they they were able to uh, bring in new stock and I was able to grab a copy So very cool definitely up my street uh, 2d run and guns. That's definitely my cup of tea. So yeah looking forward to that one and Finally guys, uh, this is actually my most recent pickup it actually came the other day and that is uh, a Raiden 4 the Mikado mix Oops. Sorry about the glare guys, I actually need to drop this down a little bit. Probably a little bit better, is it a bit better? Yeah. Um, yeah, so Raiden 4, the Mikado mix. Now, I was chuffed when I found out this was coming out because I'm a huge fan of the Raiden series. It's one of my favorite space shooters and uh, I basically needed four in a physical form. I know it came out on the uh, Xbox 360, but I, I'm not an Xbox person, so I, I, I couldn't get it then. Uh, I did own it digitally on the PS3, but I'm glad to finally get a physical copy. So it basically means now that I have the first, the first five games physically, and uh, really chuffed to get this. Uh, this is a very, very good riding game. Um, it's called the Mikado Remix because um, it also has a remixed score 
so uh, I've yet to play it so I can't really give you any more than that but it's riding a uh, great space shooter series uh, definitely sort of that old school um, vertical games really into them really really cool I really do enjoy them and uh, yeah really really tough to get it so that's it guys that is basically all my switch pickups now for the last uh, three months so um, is there any games there that caught your interest guys please let me know in the comments down below and uh, yeah expect to see me very soon guys I, I will be putting out content a bit more frequently um, yeah like I say no excuses guys it's just, it's just a lack of motivation it's just if I if I don't really have that motivation to make a video I don't really want to come on camera because if the energy is not good you know if I'm not feeling it I doubt you're gonna feel it so anyway guys thank you very much for watching guys of course you know please leave a thumbs up it does help me a lot and uh, leave a comment let me know what you think guys and uh, I will catch up to you guys next time